The chances are you've probably seen on the news a craze that took the world by storm. There were hundreds and thousands of people in the streets looking at their phones. One of the most popular mobile gaming apps of all time. This app in question is Pokemon Go. Pokemon is an anime that first aired in 1998. Since Pokemon has first released, it now has over 802 episodes, 18 games and 16 movies in the franchise. Pokemon has grossed billions of dollars for the company Nintendo who founded it. And adding to that, Pokemon Go itself has grossed over a billion dollars in revenue. Pokemon the TV show follows a character called Ash who travels across the world with his friends. The show follows him venturing around the world with his partner Pikachu as they embark on their adventure. In early 2016, Niantic, which specialised in virtual reality gaming, were approached by Nintendo and the Pokemon company and were asked to make a virtual reality game called Pokemon Go. I decided to meet up with Hannah, who has been playing Pokemon Go for a few months now. I wanted to see her opinions on the app and I wanted to hear what she had to say about any improvements. Okay, Hannah, so what are we doing here today? Uh, so today we're at Walton Gardens because it's a nest for Pokemon. So what it basically means is that now and then one type of Pokemon will be constantly spawning here, so that's its nest. At the minute there's a lot, there's a lot of Caterpie around, so we're going to be doing some hunting. All right, Hannah, so uh, what are we doing now? Um, we're at Pokestop. It's just so where if you're low on like Pokeballs, you just go onto the map and then you can collect all your little berries and balls and all that. Okay, Hannah, so uh, why do you like to play Pokemon Go? Um, I like to play Pokemon Go just because it like makes journeys go quicker. Like, I'll be walking somewhere and I can have it out on the phone. And at the same time, I'm also just having some fun. And um, yeah, you forced me into playing it, so. I did, I did force Hannah into playing the game. <laughs> I'm currently on my way to meet up with Darnell, who is someone who's been playing Pokemon Go with me for over half a year now. Darnell wanted to show me where he goes on his own when he wants to play Pokemon Go. Alright Darnell, so uh, what are we doing here? Uh, basically, what we're going to be doing here, yeah, I'll show you this. So the gym's red right now, so that's our team. team yeah. Color. We're going to keep the gym red. But we're also going to wait for the legendary, but obviously because it's 44 minutes long to wait, we're going to occupy ourselves with something else for another time being, basically. Right now, I've arranged to meet up with a few people who play Pokemon Go quite often and they've started up a group on Facebook. Uh, I'm part of this group and they said they're going to come here to do a Mewtwo raid. Right, so I've arranged to meet the people, they're now here, they're waiting for more people to come. Uh, let's go and say hello. I'm here with uh, Paul, who uh, plays Pokemon Go quite a bit. Hello. Right, uh, Paul, so uh, what do you like about Pokemon Go, specifically? I like about Pokemon Go how you can get out and you can get some exercise and you can also catch some cool Pokemon. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Have you, like, like, do you like the community associated around with Pokemon Go, like the big groups where you just come out like this? Yeah, yeah okay, it's really, really good for your interacting skills, it's really, really good for uh, interacting with others. And yeah, it's fantastic unless it's cold like today. So, uh, why do you specifically play Pokemon Go? Um, it's one of the games that I played on like the Game Boy and uh, the DS. So I was kind of excited before it even came out that it would be available on mobile phones. Um, but it's just, it's amazing. It's like having your favourite book or some film or other being in real life. And you can go run around in local parks and meet people and it's just... Uh, it's been really fun. 
So uh, what do you think about the uh, community now compared to when it just came out and like, what do you think about the hype of like 2016? It was really strange because for almost like a year I didn't meet any other players, not a single player. And then as soon as the raids started happening this summer, I met sort of 100 people almost all at once. And it was crazy, people were just like getting in each other's cars and going to parks and just like trailing around the place. Um, but before that it was a really kind of solitary um, pursuit where you just went round on your own. You never met anyone so it was, it was kind of strange. but. Um, it took a lot of adjusting to actually be able to play the game with other people. Yeah. So, um, do you like the um, the updates, the fact that they regularly give out updates uh, and the, um, the fact they're going to be releasing more Pokemon? I'm very much looking forward to that. When I first started playing it was the Diamond and Pearl series and we're not up to those yet but they're my favourite starter Pokemon so my favourite Pokemon haven't come out yet. Um, but like Niantic's updates have been a bit kind of odd in that they don't tell you about them until the last minute or the community finds out before they release any official statement so um, more input from them would be amazing but as it is I'm quite happy with like how it's going at the moment. Today I have heard a lot of different opinions about Pokemon Go but all of them have been that it does bring the community together. 84 in St. Pete right now. Got a Pokemon? She's looking for Pokemon right now. This is the location.